You are watching Euro Channel and if you want to know how to improve your erections without having to take medication, you might want to try this. With advancing age, vascular erectile dysfunction becomes more prominent. If you're a guy above your 60s, there is a 70% chance that you might have some vascular changes like atherosclerosis due to our lifestyle habits like smoking, hyperlipidemia, etc. That will cause some restriction in the inflow in the penile arteries. And what you could do is you could take some PD-5 inhibitors or you might want to try shockwave therapy. So what is shockwave therapy? Shock waves are produced in this machine and they're produced in some kind of membrane that's in this applicator that's set into motion by electricity. And these waves which come out, they're very powerful. And you can hear it like this. They will be focused into the tissues and they will cause some kind of rejuvenation. So they will activate stem cells, they will activate nerve tissue, they will cause um, the formation of blood vessels and all of this will make the penis erect better. I'm going to show you now how the shock waves are applicated. In order to get a good exposure of the tissues to be treated it's very important to get the patient into a proper position and I know many men are afraid of these chairs because they're mostly used in gynecology and they think this is kind of a yucky position to be in but once they are settled it's quite comfortable I can assure you. So when you're seated the penis is being treated alongside the shaft and the penis is treated in these areas where you can't see it. So this is in the perineum and the perineum is the region below the scrotum and here we also treat with shock waves. Shock wave therapy is also known as ESWT which means extracorporeal shock wave therapy and it has been used for decades. In orthopedics the first indications came up in the 90s and in urology we are looking down at 10 years of applying shock waves for erectile dysfunction. Are they effective? Yes, they are. I'm watching the guidelines every year and the annual update of the guidelines and a couple years ago they were regarded as experimental but I can see a development happening that now we get some levels of evidence, we get some grades of recommendations. They're weak though but I'm very optimistic that this will change in the next coming years. So what can you expect of shockwave therapy? The results can make the difference between being able to penetrate to not being able to penetrate. In other words, if you're looking at the International Index of Erectile Function, um, there is a 25 point maximum and if you have a fair erection at the verge of not being able to penetrate, you kind of get 19 to 21 points. And this therapy can make a difference of four points. So if you're having a slight erectile dysfunction, this can make the difference. And then you will be able to have erections and penetrations without having to take other medication. The effect will show up after like six weeks at first, but the maximum will be reached at three to six months after the therapy is finished. This is because new tissue has to build first and this is not happening overnight. So what I do, I give two sessions per week. This is 5000 shock waves each session and overall I will give 12 sessions. So this will make six weeks of therapy. I hope this was some useful information for you and I would be delighted if you watch my video next week and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me thumbs up and then we'll see each other next week. Goodbye. <laughs>